The GOP dialing up the insanity to 11. And if that sounds like hyperbole, just watch what happened at the conservative gathering known as CPAC this past weekend. Clearly, they were hoping, the government was hoping, that they could sort of sucker 90% of the population into getting vaccinated. And it, and, and it, and it isn't happening, right? There, there's a... Y younger people are well aware of what the risks really are. They are cheering against life-saving medicine for their fellow citizens. They would rather own the libs than save lives. And it's, it's not just vaccines. MAGA's glorious leader going on Fox to rewrite the insurrection, calling it an act of love. Spirit and faith and love. There was such love at that rally. They were peaceful people. These were great people. The crowd was unbelievable. And I mentioned the word love. The love, the love in the air. I've never seen anything like it. And they're yep. tremendous, in many cases, tremendous people. Tremendous people. This is the violence shown in new video evidence released as prosecutors go after alleged rioters. To quote Ashanti and Fat Joe, what's love got to do with it, got to do with it? It should be about us. It should be about trust. Because these people didn't love America when they attempted to take over the government. Trump is also pushing election lies while attending the CPAC gathering. But if you're watching on Fox News, you may have noticed his own megaphone fact-checking him in real time, putting up this lower third text, the denial from the voting machine companies that dispute Trump's claims. Fox News is currently being sued by one of those companies, Smartmatic, for over $2 billion. If anything, this is getting worse on the right. Trump won the CPAC straw poll with 70%. They're addicted to him. Forget Pfizer and Moderna. White nationalism appears to be one hell of a drug. 